Hello and welcome to the website of the Medical Scientist Training Program of the University of Pennsylvania. I thought we'd use the next few minutes to tell you a little bit about the program, why we have an MD-PhD program at Penn, what we hope to accomplish, and for good measure I'll throw in a little bit about the history of the program as well and of the University of Pennsylvania. Being a medical scientist is at heart about being a discoverer of things that haven't been found before, attempting to bring them into the practice of medicine but also pushing back the boundaries of what is known about biomedical science. Here at Penn, we have a lot of students who are learning how to do that, working with faculty, many of whom were either scientists or physician scientists, learning the tools of the trade that they're going to need for a career that's going to last for many, many decades beyond the time that they graduate from medical school. One of the nicest things, in, in my opinion, about this program is the fact that in addition to lots of men and women who are learning to be biomedical, laboratory-based physician scientists, we also have lots of people who are learning how to do computational biology, who are bioengineers, who are learning the art and practice of not only the wet lab, but of the dry space as well. In addition, about 13% of the students in the program are enrolled in PhD programs outside of the medical school. Some of those are at the School of Engineering, which is right across the street from the hospital complex. But we also have a healthy cohort of men and women in the program who are getting PhDs in the social sciences. So we have people that are doing PhDs at Wharton in healthcare economics, in the medical anthropology program, which has become large and vibrant here on this campus. It turns out that having good mentors and good role models is as important if you're going to become a physician scientist as it is in any other profession that you might pick. One of the nice things about Penn is the large number of physician scientists who are in the faculty who are willing to take time away from their research and their teaching and patient care to spend with MD-PhD students. Not only helping you decide at crucial junction points in your training, what the best decisions might be for you, but also just to give you more ideas about all the worlds that exist that you might want to explore while you're here with us and after you leave us as well. In fairness, we spent a lot of time populating our website with lots of information about the program, and you can read in detail about how we pull off the trick of integrating medicine and science together in a way that makes sense so that people who finish the program are able to meld them together within their heads and within their careers. We're really glad that you came and clicked on our website. We hope that you'll spend some time investigating all the resources that we've put on it. Uh, there's lots to be learned here, including some advice for people who are just thinking about applying to MD-PhD programs but haven't yet reached the point where they've finalized that decision. Among the information that you'll find on the website is how our classes are designed but also how you go about the process of applying and what we'll expect you to put in your application. So take some time, click around, look at advice to applicants, which is one of the web pages that we have here, but also look at the links for the faculty members that are associated with the program. Make sure that what they're working on resonates with what your dreams are for what you'd like to do in the future. We hope you enjoy the time that you spend on our website, but even more importantly, I hope that you'll complete your application and then come and visit us. We'd like to meet you face to face, have a chance to get to know you, and to help you decide whether spending your time with us as an MD-PhD student will be the path that will rocket you forward to the future that you'd like to have. Thanks again for your attention.